Years-long fight over the Chiquita Lock in Cape Coral may finally be over. People who used the boat launch in Southwest Cape used the lock next to Cape Harbor to get to the river. There has been a huge debate on whether or not the lock should be removed. Tonight, NBC2 investigator Evan Dean is in studio with the new developments. Kelly and Peter, the Florida DEP just issued a final order on this and a permit for the city of Cape Coral to remove the lock. It's yet another win for the city after a judge ruled in their favor earlier this summer. Now, this legal battle goes back years. Those who fought to keep the lock have argued that removing it will harm water quality and mangroves in the area. The city, on the other hand, has said the lock is unsafe and a navigational hazard, and boaters have complained about the congestion it creates. As part of the removal, the city will plant mangrove seedlings and install oyster ball reefs in the area. Now, it's not clear exactly when the lock will be taken out. The city's still working to make that happen. We also spoke today with the attorney representing those fighting to keep the lock. He told me they're still working to figure out their next steps. Live in studio, I'm Evan Dean for NBC2.